Welcome to the Thursday, April 5th, 2012 edition of Ernerberry's Daily Video, sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. In today's report, amid a balanced chicken complex, a few items continue to post higher prices. And later, we take a look at the mahi market. Now, here's your host, Jamie Chadwick. According to a recent study by the NPD group, have and have not consumers both share in common cost consciousness and an appreciation for deals. The NPD Food Service Market Research Report, which takes an in-depth look at both the restaurant behaviors of the financially comfortable and the financially strained, finds that the sluggish demand for restaurant meals traces to both groups, although a greater proportion of those cutting back are most affected by the economy. For more information on NPD study and other news in the food service industry, please visit foodmarket.com. Now here's poultry market reporter James Zerpico on which chicken items are trending higher in an overall balanced market. The current situation surrounding most of the items in the chicken complex is a balanced one. The overall level of supply has been relatively low in the wake of consistent production cutbacks, while business has performed well below the industry standard of the past. Though, if we consider the last few years, sluggish demand pat patterns have become the norm more so than not. With that being said, a number of items, including leg meat, have achieved lofty price points, especially compared to the quotations from 2011 and 2010. Leg meat values in particular are currently 12 cents per pound superior to those from last year and 42 cents per pound above those from 2010. The markets from 2010 were very much an anomaly, so that spread is a bit skewed. But even so, the prices being experienced now are still at record high levels. Looking ahead, we're recording a good amount of activity on the export front, which typically translates to improved dark meat values. So if that scenario continues and supplies remain in check, leg meat should be poised to have a leg up on the values of the past. Thanks, James. To wrap up today's video, Seafood.com news writer Michael Ramsing taking a look at the latest trends in the mahi-mahi market. The mahi market has not gone unnoticed in the past few years as strong demand in the food service sector, especially for portions, has caused prices to advance to historic highs. Pricing for frozen fillets and other product forms has also increased. Starting in 2011, supplies are relatively low, precisely when the import season is in top gear. For example, supplies to frozen fillets, which is a mix of all frozen product forms such as portions, loins, fillets, among others, was less than half of that in January 2010. Here we can see prices trending steeply higher. Overall, supply in 2011 was more than 11% lower than in 2010. Remember, this is for all product forms. So, if we assume a strong demand in production for portions, that leaves less raw material available for fillets, loins, or fletches, and other product forms. If we take a look at the fresh market, importers also had a bid higher for raw materials, causing prices to rise, forcing imports of fresh fillets to increase given the attractiveness of this market. The current season started with rather light inventories, furthering support of high prices. However, at this point, imports and inventories are adequate, but current holding costs are also high, which impede product holders to discount their offering levels much lower. In the end, price, which is the best market indicator, will, will reveal if the market is capable of absorbing record high prices. Thanks, Michael. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at ePoultry.com.